Hello, everybody. Welcome. Welcome to Acting From All Angles. Today, we're going to talk about goals. It's that time of year. We're going to talk about and get really inspired about some goals we're going to do. I'm so excited. But first, let me introduce myself, yourself, myself, whoever, to those of you who don't know you, know me or you, either one. Um, hey, Beverly is here. Beverly, we miss you so much. Come back to class. We miss you. Um, so for those of you who don't know me, my name is Julianne Lichty Stratton, and I am the creator of Actors in Action Professional Actor Training, where we empower the passionate actor with the craft and skills to have a serious acting career. I'm so excited to be on today. We're going to be talking about goals. We're going to start with a little story. I don't know if any of you's ever heard this story, but um, so there was this farmer. And he was known for plowing like the best, straightest rows ever in the whole wide world. He was like so good at it. And he had a son who was like apprenticing, an apprentice farmer. They have those, right? Apprentice farmers. Um, <laughs> and he was telling his son, dude, this is the way you get the rows really straight. You look at something across the field and you just keep your eye on it as you're moving the plow towards it. Just keep it doing, keep doing it. You got it? And the son's like, yeah, I got it. No problem. So the dad goes off. The son plows the field. The dad comes back and the field is completely skawampus. There's like rows going this way and that way. And it's like horrible. And he said, son, what happened? I told you to keep your eye on, the, on the, the thing you're looking at. And he's like, I did, dad. But the dang cow kept moving. <laughs> Do you ever feel that way with your goals? You're like, Ah, I don't know what I'm doing or where is it going or what, you know, how am I getting there? Um, so let's talk about goals. I have some really fun goals this year. I'm super excited about for 2020. I'm usually not a big goal person. Actually, I'm sort of like, yeah, goal schmoles. But um, I have a lot. I have a lot to get done with my business this year. This in 2020. I'm super excited about it. I have a lot of actors to help. I have a lot of stuff to do. A lot of uh, content to create. Just lots of stuff. Lots of stuff going on. So I have some pretty pretty fun goals. Um, and I think that's one of the keys. Is I love making my goals fun because fun is such a huge motivator. It's so great to be able to like do fun things. Um, <clears throat> excuse me. So last night I was talking to my intermediate class and we were talking about goals. And what I said to them is I said, you guys, I would love for you to really sit there and figure out how you want to feel about your acting for next year or just in general. Like, how do you want to feel about your acting when you when you act? Do you want to feel like empowered? Do you want to feel like this is easy? Do you want to feel like you are just an auditioning machine? How do you want to feel? And I sent them home with our little two week break of, of, of thinking about that and sitting with that. And um, David Pratt is here. Welcome, David. I'm so glad you're here. We're talking about goals. Um, so I sent them home for two weeks to think about that. Like, how do you want to feel? as an actor, not just for next year, but for forever. What do you, what do you want to feel like? Me, I know I want to feel empowered. I want to feel like I'm wielding magic. To me, that's what acting is. It's this magic thing. And when I'm really doing it, I'm really there. I'm, I'm wielding magic. It's like I'm Harry Potter with a wand or Hermione Granger, or, you know, in my case or whatever. Um, it's this really special, amazing feeling of connection, of power, of skill, of so many things that lights my fire, makes me so happy. That's one of the reasons I love to act. So I want you guys to think about that. How do you want to feel when you act? And then think about, well, how do, how do I get there? What do I need to do to get there? Like, so for me, with my acting, I want I'm, I'm working on memorization myself right now. I want to just be a memorization, memorizing machine. So how am I going to do that? What do I do? I have found this fantastic, really great memorization technique that I'm passing on to my students and only to my students. Sorry, you have to work with me to, to get this technique, but it's great. And it's something that's really changing me. And I am making a habit 
of working on it as much as I can daily if I can. So what I do is I try to take my dogs every day on a walk. I have a, a standard poodle, a party poodle, Leroy, and I have a lab pit mix, Roo, and we have this beautiful Jordan River Parkway just in our backyard. And every morning I try to get up and take them on a walk. And while I'm doing that, I'm working on my my um, scenes. I'm working on the scenes we work on in class. I'm working on my own auditions. I'm working on Shakespeare monologues, whatever I can do to practice getting off book, to practice this memorization technique. And not only that, but to make a habit of it. If you can make a habit of something, that's, that's, that is such a strong way of reaching a goal. It's kind of like an automated way, making that habit. So that's what I've been doing with that. Um, something, another huge goal I'll share, I'll share this goal with you too. Another huge goal I have is I want to, how do I say it? Uh, I always get it mixed up when I say it. I want to stop doing what I can pay other people to do. So one of my problems is I'm super capable. I can do like so many things, which is great. At my studio, you see my studio. I've been, I've mudded and I've taped and I've framed and I've, I had help, of course. I've even helped out with the electrical. I've, I didn't drywall because drywalling is super difficult and I, I couldn't swing it. I tried. I tried and I made a mess of it. Me and my husband made an absolute mess of it. So I hired people. Um, and Ashley's here. Hi, Ashley. Good to, good to see you on here. So I have this capacity, which is great, to be able to do lots of things. So I've been building my studio, and it saved me a ton of money, and that's been great. But it's not in my field of genius. Framing and uh, mudding and taping, it's not, it's not like my ultimate high goal, high functioning, um, amazing thing that I do. I do a lot of other things that are, that only I can do and that can really benefit a lot of people. So I am focusing on letting go of that habit of doing things that I, other people, I could pay other people to do. And I think it's going to be scary for me to do that because I'm a workaholic and I love to get in there and just work on stuff, especially stuff that's not threatening. It's easier to mud and tape and paint a room for me than to sit down and write a new play. I'm sure some of you might relate to that. Um, so that's what I'm gonna do. So I really want you to think about that with your goals and I would love for you to post them. I wanna know what you're up to this year, um, this next year, and I wanna know the steps you're gonna take to get there to develop those habits with those goals. Okay, I know we've got some people watching right now. If you guys want to just put out one goal or something you'd like to change um, this year, I would love to see it. Da, 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 da. The pressure's on. The pressure's on for you guys. Um, so it could be anything. It could be, you know, I want to stop blow drying my hair so much because I get so many split ends. I don't know. Um, ultimately, a goal is going to take you to where you want to go. It's like I said at the beginning, you want to keep your eye, eyes on the prize. You don't want to be like the farmer who kept trying to plow a straight, a straight um, row while following the cow across the thing because the cow is going to move. So you really need to figure those out and um, have fun with it. That's what I got for today. I'll just, I want to just tag on a couple of things. There's a lot of great stuff that's going to be happening with Actors in Action this next year. I'm super excited. I'm bringing on some business partners. I'm bringing on another teacher. Um, we're really going to be honing in on creating the AIA Actors Conservatory. So right now I have classes, um, it's mostly just acting, but we're going to get into voice, we're going to get into movement, we're going to slowly build that, and I want to invite you guys along to see how this grows and see how we do it, because it's going to be really, really exciting. Um, now that I've got the studio pretty much done, I can start focusing on more than just mudding and drywalling and, and electrical and stuff like that, So, which goes back to my point that 
doing what putting your putting your eye on the prize and, and the goals that you need are going to put you more in your sweet spot of your life. Okay. All right. So if you join this later, oh, Katie just joined. If you watch this later, for all the people, we have a lot of people that watch this not live. Ah, oh, David Pratt says, I would love to see your studio. David, you are welcome to come by anytime. Um, it's really beautiful. If you're here in Salt Lake, it's it's an amazing thing. You can just Facebook message me and come by and take a look at it. Um, all right, so the people who are watching this after we run it, after the live, jot down your, your goals. Just tell me one or two. I, I wanna know, I'm dying to know, dying to know what inspires you and what's gonna get you guys going. All right, that is uh, Acting From All Angles for today. Super excited. Oh, we're going to start a podcast too. Acting of All Angles, Acting From All Angles, we're going to make it as a podcast as well as a Facebook Live. So super excited about that. It's really great. I've never done a podcast, but I think it would be fun. I think it would be super fun. Okay, guys, have a great, great weekend. We will catch you next year. I'm not going to be on Facebook Live for the next two weeks because it's Christmas and New Year's. So have a wonderful one. We'll see you in January. Bye. Bye.